Nangjiao, alternate speakings Nanchao and Nanchao was a polity that flourished in what is now southern China and Southeast Asia during the 8th and 9th centuries. It was centered on present-day Yunnan in China, founding an ethnography. Nangzhao comprised many ethnic and linguistic groups. Some historians believe that the majority of the population were of the Bai people, but that the elite spoke a variant of New Azu, a Tibeto-Burman language closely related to Burmese. Originally, there were several tribes that settled on the fertile land around the Alpine Fault Lake Erhai. These tribes were called Mengxia, Mengsu, Langqing, Dengtan, Shilang, and Uxi. Each tribe had its own kingdom, known as a in an area under the control of the Tibetan Empire. In the year 737 AD, with the support of the Tang Dynasty of China, Pilu Oja united the six Zhaos in succession, establishing a new kingdom called Nangzhao. The capital was established in 738 at Taiha, located in the heart of the Erhai Valley. The site was ideal. It could be easily defended against attack and it was in the midst of rich farmland, expansion and overthrow. In 748, Pilu Oja was succeeded as king by his son Jeluo Feng. When a Chinese official attempted to rob Nangzhao envoys in 750, Jeluo Feng attacked and seized nearby Tang territory. In retaliation, the governor of the Tang province of Jianan, Zhani Zhongtong, attacked Nangzhao with an army of 80,000 soldiers in 751, but was defeated by General Du in Javai with heavy losses at Xiaguan. Today the general's cave and the tomb of 10,000 soldiers bear witness to this disaster. Jeluo Feng then allied himself with the Tibetans. In 754, another Tang army of 100,000 soldiers, led by General Li Mi, approached the kingdom from the north, but it too was defeated with heavy losses. Bolstered by these successes, Nangzhao expanded rapidly, first into Burma, then into the rest of Yunnan, down into northern Laos and Thailand and finally, north into Sichuan. In 829, Chengdu was taken and some 20,000 Chinese technicians were captured. By 873, Nangzhao had been expelled from Sichuan and retreated back to Yunnan, after which the kingdom slowly declined. In 902, the dynasty came to a bloody end when the chief minister murdered all of the key members of the royal family, including the heir apparent. Three other dynasties followed in quick succession, Da Changhe, Da Tiangxing and Da Yining. Finally Du and Saiping seized power in 937 to establish the kingdom of Dali, Nangzhao king's family tree, religion. The area had a strong connection with Tantric Buddhism which has survived to this day at Jianchuan and neighboring areas. The worship of Guanin and Mahakala is very different from other forms of Chinese Buddhism. Nangzhao likely had strong religious connections with the pagan kingdom in what is today Myanmar, as well as Tibet and Bengal.